Good afternoon. Uh, it's Phil Jones from Ashdown Jones and the 52 week pregnant Hannah, mm. who uh, who has been <laughs> has been more energetic in the past. I have. I have. I'm just tired. It's my last week. <laughs> um, but she saw the house this morning, so I I will let you off. Um, so on today's Ask AJ, we're going to talk about how important it is for uh, the whole team to know every home that comes to market. Um, so without seeing the, the, the house, you've just, you, you know the site quite well. You've just taken... Um, Edward and Lewis. Edward and Lewis. I, I didn't know the names. I was thinking how many people. <laughs> um, Edward and Lewis to the site. And how long were you there for? Two hours with the homeowner as well, going through everything. Yeah, so what, can, what important things do you, um, do you do when you're there on, on the visit? Well, we did role play as, as if we were viewing it. Um, so we'd walk around and say, talk about each room and special features. Um, went around the ground because they all haven't seen them. And there's 13 acres there. Um, then also little things, you know, like how to lock up because it's such a big house. So mm. the, the security is quite high there. So. Yeah, and, and although it's really important that we do the viewings, um, there is no doubt that the owners will know a heck of a lot more about the home than we do, yeah. no matter what we do. And by, by running through um, something like that, it gives the owners the opportunity to say how they would do it and exactly what they would say and where. Um, we can edit that on how we are, we're trained to do it, but we can certainly remember key things that, that they would have said, which uh, is often important to buyers, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what else do you think is important when people ring the office? Yeah, and it's just to see it in the flesh, and now they know exactly how the house flows. Um, it's also good for them to build a rapport with the client, um, and then they can know that they can text and things um, out of hours. Um, yeah, it's just important that the whole team understands the house. Um, the last thing we want to do is for someone to ring and say, um, is the master bed, can we knock through from here to here? And, and for us to have to go through the system and look at the floor plan and not quite work it out. If we know the home, then we can offer a much better experience for both the buyer and the seller, um, which is important in the journey. The last thing we want to do is delay it or, or be an obstruction. We want to, our job is to help the, that buyer um, match a home of their choice. And, and sometimes as well, if we've been to a home and, and a buyer rings us and says, um, I'm interested in this house, and we can say, well, what's your strongest reason for, for the interest? Um, and they say, oh, it's got a lovely garden. We can then potentially suggest something else further down the line. If we've already been there and, and know it, um, it just even, gives us other options, doesn't it? Yeah, and even just showing them how the owner likes to have the house looking with certain lights on, um, fires on, things like that. So she knows she can trust the team now to go and put the fire on and everything like that. Even as simple as heating, yeah. uh, it's, it's, a, it's an enormous house and... It views better when it's warm, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. If, if it's a big house, make sure the heating's on, what did you say, two, three, four hours prior to a viewing, if at all possible. Yeah. Um, it just, it takes away the concern of heating a big house uh, as much as possible. Um, so that's it. And this is the last time you'll see, well actually she's gonna, probably going to be in every weekend mm. anyway, but uh, <laughs> this is the last time you'll see Hannah for how many months? Um, so if we ever do this in the coming month, the coming weeks, and the scream behind us, the screaming baby, then it's not me. It's it's probably Hannah's baby. So um, that's it. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so we will see you on next week's Ask AJ. Uh, if you've got any questions you would like us to answer, um, we had one a couple of weeks ago that we still haven't done, but we will. Um, then we will answer it as soon as we can, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>